Hello everyone, I'm here by myself recording another video demonstrating a tutorial on multiple things and um, let's get started right away. The first thing I'm going to be doing is uh, doing a little tutorial on redstone. I'm pretty bad with it but um, I know how to do the basic stuff so um, let's see. Just add some of this stuff in here. Redstone dust. This mod, by the way, is the Too Many Items mod. You can find it on the Minecraft forums. I'll also put a link in the description. This texture pack, I th think it's... Uh, let's go check, actually. Eld pack. This is also a great texture pack. I like using this. Actually, I'm going to switch to that right now. And, uh, yeah. So, here we go. So, this is uh, basically this is redstone dust. You get it from mining redstone ore. Right now it doesn't do anything, but um, it can, you can send a charge to it using three switches, a pressure plate, a lever, or a button. Or a redstone torch which sends a continuous charge, and the lever does too, but a lever can be turned off while the redstone torch has to be destroyed to send a continuous charge, and to end the continuous charge. A button has to be placed on the block which the redstone wire is connected to. And I'm lagging extremely badly, and I can't place the block, there we go. And then you put the button on, powers up the redstone. You can also attach it to a pressure plate, walk over it, powers up the redstone. Or you can use a lever, which can be placed on a block or on the floor, powers up the redstone continuously without ending. Unlike the button or the pressure plate. Uh, that's pretty basic. And the redstone torch powers up the redstone and destroy it and doesn't power the redstone. And now what I'm going to show you is called an inverter by most people who play Minecraft. Which is basically on um, one side is powered up and on the other side is powered off. And if you switch the power off or on on one side, it'll change the one on the other side too. Like right here, this is powered on. And if I send the charge whoops, back over here, it should power this side off. There. See, that's basically how it works. And you can use these to make more complex devices and such, etc. And now, what I'm going to show is uh, a pulsator or repeater. I'm not sure what the official term is, but um, basically sends a repeated charge of redstone. And just find the ooh, what's that? And just find the redstone repeater should be somewhere over here. There we go. Uh, now you can't ha you can't have this repeating too fast, or it'll actually stop and burn out. The way to fix that is to have multiple repeaters connected to one device for super fast repeating action. To basically just put that there. Now the minimum, the minimum amount you can have it is if you right click on it twice, this, this is the minimum amount you can use to prevent it from shorting out. And basically you do this and then you put the dust here and then you actually put the torch right here. You can see this is the basic concept of it. And you can see it's repeatedly pulsating. Hence its name. Now I'll show you what happens when you do make it go too fast. There's so much lag. Uh, see it's going quite fast right now. And it just burns out. Smokes up. You can reset that by either sending a new charge or destroying that and replacing it. So you just send that, destroy that, and there we go. This is useful because you know you can put say put this block over a pressure plate right here. Oh, I mean a treasure chest, not a pressure plate. They destroy it. Have a dispenser right here. Charge going to the dispenser. Fill with arrows. So when you destroy this, it'll repeatedly shoot a bunch of arrows, and it'll kill them. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to stop that now because it's causing lag.